if you're in the market for a thin and light notebook, chances are high you're going to look at the new ZenBook S13 OLED with the code name UM5302. This device is an amazing sidekick, delivering exceptional performance and efficiency thanks to its Ryzen 6000 series CPUs, while the OLED panel is unmatched when it comes to colors. The S13 gets all of this while being incredibly lightweight, weighing only a kilo and having a profile of 14.9 millimeters. The aluminum magnesium alloy helps a lot to achieve such a low weight, leaving an anodized finish. The notebook complies with the MIL STD 810H certification tests, so you can rest assured that the device is well built and won't break down on you anytime soon. The base and palm rest area are also treated with ASUS's antibacterial guard, which inhibits the growth of bacteria by 99% over a 24-hour period. It's made to last for up to three years, so we hope there won't be another virus outbreak, like COVID-27 or something. Anyway, the lid can be opened with one hand, showing off a well-organized base. It also lifts up the back slightly for better cooling and ergonomics. We've got a fingerprint reader inside the power button, along with a great keyboard with long key travel and clicky feedback. The keycaps are made to be more comfortable with a dish design that matches the shape of your fingertips. We also can't forget the number pad, which allows for even the smallest of devices to have an alternative to a touchpad. The I.O. includes two USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 2 ports and an audio jack on the right, while a third Type-C port is found on the left. The ports do have support for power delivery and DisplayPort 1.4. There's also a Type-A to Type-C dongle in the box. The laptop's most striking feature is the 2.8K OLED panel, which is super crisp at 13.3 inches. It comes with a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which results in a taller display that's able to fit more pixels in the same form factor. It also supports the ASUS pen, which has to be purchased separately. The screen has a peak brightness of 400 nits in SDR, but can go up to 550 nits in HDR content, so it's bright enough for working outside. The ZenBook S13 OLED covers 100% of the DCI-P3 gamut, also known as the Digital Cinema Standard and it has excellent color accuracy. There is some PWM usage below 92 nits. However, the MyASUS app includes a flicker-free dimming option, which eliminates the pulsations completely, while still keeping the colors fairly accurate, with a DE value of 2.1. Considering that with the PWM on, you get a DE value of 1.8, we think it's worth the sacrifice. There's a competent sound setup with two bottom firing speakers on the bottom, which do have Dolby Atmos support. The unit has been tuned and approved by Harman Kardon, showing no noticeable deviations from clarity across the entire frequency range. Only two per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory, thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The 67-watt hour battery is enough to sustain the Ryzen 6000 U-Series chips for a while. In our tests with the Ryzen 7 6800U, the unit lasts for 11 hours and 40 minutes of web browsing, or 15 hours and 56 minutes of video playback. That's a lot! There's also fast charging, so you can get up to 60% in just 49 minutes. With the Ryzen 5 6600U, you can expect even longer battery life, as there would be two fewer cores to power up. Going back to the Ryzen 7, it's a great performer inside the ZenBook S13. Considering the size of the machine, it's able to trade blows with many competitors on the market. The RDNA2 iGPU is also nothing to scoff at, bringing encoding support that can be used for video editing. You can also take breaks and play some games, but you should probably stick to lighter games and esports titles. Cooling inside small laptops can be tricky, as it's important to strike a balance between performing well and keeping temps within reasonable levels. This laptop comes with one heat pipe and one fan, which are enough to sustain the Ryzen 7. 
To do that, ASUS needs to lower the wattage a bit, which does lead to less performance overall. However, it means the laptop runs cooler and is quieter in the long run. The 14-inch Yoga 7 from Lenovo squeezes out higher clock speeds from the CPU while running cooler, but it also has more space to work with, so you'd have to judge for yourself what you value more. The ZenBook S13 OLED is offered with up to 16GB of soldered dual-channel LPDDR5 memory, while for storage, you get one M.2 slot for Gen 4 SSDs. Our teardown video shows how to get to the SSD, so we'll link it below. Leading the charge when it comes to performance per gram, the ZenBook S13 OLED is more than a compact machine. It can be a fully-fledged video editing rig that you can carry everywhere with you, or a premium daily driver that has style and class. For a better look at the laptop, why don't you swing by our website and read the full in-depth review.